How cool is that? I can feel it in there right now. I feel like it's moving around. Welcome to the garden. Today I'm going to be cleaning up the vegetable garden. It's getting so cold now, things are starting to freeze solid overnight. And I think I got a late start again on our lettuce because it didn't really get too big. We actually still have a little bit of spinach. So I probably want to plant more of that next year and less lettuce. I'm going to be leaving the kale and broccoli as well as our parsley here. This is actually really cold hardy and it's still good. Look at that. I love fresh parsley from the garden. And we also have a whole bunch of cleanup to do. I've got sunflowers here that we need to pull. This was I think an aster flower. And if we let these go to seed, they're going to spread everywhere. These just come up as volunteers, so we don't need that many. I also have some seeds to collect from leeks. These have really beautiful late blooming flowers. And marigolds. Our marigolds are just wrapping up. I mainly would just want to collect the brown ones, but we can actually harvest some of these green ones and dry them indoors. These have most likely been pollinated and will have viable seeds down in here. They just need to dry out. And there are a whole bunch of seeds, like little needles. found a tomato. <laughs> this is the first year I've tried to grow butternut squash and it didn't really work out too great. <laughs> These are more decorative than edible. They're just so tiny. The biggest one is probably about twice the size but still very small. And now is really the last chance we have to do any transplanting. So I want to move these oregano plants which were just volunteers from the trail over into an in-ground bed. Whoa, look at all of this growth down here. Holy cow. Below these flowers, there's just like a bed of lush oregano. Doesn't that look incredible? You know, I might even just leave this and just prune it back. I think that would be really cool to have oregano as a ground cover here. We'll just keep it pruned and hopefully it'll spread. But I do think this other plant is a little too close to the path. And here it comes. Wow, look at that, it's a huge plant. It's so cool that this is all fresh growth just this year. We'll just backfill it around it and then I'm going to insulate over the top with dried leaves just to prepare for winter. And we'll do the same thing with all of our containers. If you can get a nice thick layer of at least a couple inches thick, it's going to insulate them from the harshest, coldest winds. something really interesting while I was raking leaves. We found a cocoon and this one is actually occupied. It's a bit dense, a little heavy and there's something in there. There's a heavy little creature inside of this cocoon. It's just amazing. I found these before. This is one that I found a few years ago. And this one is empty. You can see the hole there. I was really surprised to see one that's actually occupied though. This is just incredible. And I don't think I'm going to keep it, but I want to find a safe spot for it because it was really exposed. This should be insulated under some leaves. You can even see it's built into this leaf. 
So I imagine this is probably a caterpillar going through some sort of metamorphosis. Could be a woolly caterpillar, could be something else, I'm not sure. How cool is that? I can feel it in there right now. I feel like it's moving around. Let's see if I can get it kind of cantilevered so that any motion is amplified. See that? A little bit of that's probably my just natural heartbeat and stuff. But some of that motion is from inside. It looks like it spun some leaves into the cocoon and kind of glued it together with the silk. Gosh, I would love to open it up, but that would be so mean. I want this to be off of the ground a little bit. So we'll elevate it on some leaves. And we'll cover it up really well with dried leaves. So hopefully in spring, I'll be able to dig this out and maybe even watch it hatch. That would be really exciting. And the last thing I'll do today is take down all the birdhouses. These have been unoccupied for a long time. So we can clean them out if we can and then just store them over winter. Now that we've saved the last of our seeds and cleaned up and insulated all of our containers, I think we're ready for winter. So I hope you get out there and prepare for winter in your garden. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you next time.